Hi guys, today I'm reviewing the Nostalgia Pop-Up Hot Dog Toaster. As you can see, it has a nice retro design and a beautiful dark red color. Nostalgia sent me the sample so I can tell you what I think of it. With this toaster, you can toast four hot dogs and four hot dog buns at the same time. It measures about nine inches tall, 10 inches wide, and about 10 inches deep. The cord length is 33 inches, and you can wrap it under the unit. The unit comes with the base, two hot dog baskets, pair of tongs, and an instruction manual. It's extremely simple to use. You put the hot dogs into the slots, buns into the semicircle slots, and choose a heat setting from one to five using the dial. Press stop anytime to end cooking. There are two crumb catchers in the back of the unit. After you finish cooking, slide them out and empty any crumbs. Plug in the unit. I'm using four standard size hot dog rolls and standard hot dogs. You can use regular size hot dogs or extra plump hot dogs. Just don't use jumbo hot dogs because they're not meant to be cooked in this unit. Put the hot dogs in the slots. Open the buns up a little, put them into the semicircle slots. Careful not to open them all the way or they'll split. I'll choose setting three in the middle and slide the lever down all the way. These buns needed a little help. The first time you use the unit, there might be a little smoking or smell and that's normal. That took two minutes. The buns are toasted a little bit on the sides, not the middle really. The hot dogs are hot, but I'm going to cook it for um, another two minutes. You can hear some popping. And that was another two minutes. When you're toasting with this unit, make sure there's at least one hot dog or one bun in it. Definitely don't put any cheese filled hot dogs in here because that would be a huge mess. I'm going to check the hot dog's temperature. It's hot now. It's better to use tongs. It's about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. I used already fully cooked turkey hot dogs. They look pretty good. They've got some nice coloring on them. Overall, the buns are toasted nicely. You can see there's a little bit of um, charring on some of the edges. The tongs are pretty useless, so just use your own. I'm originally from New York, so I have to have mustard, sauerkraut, and onions and sauce. If you've never had it, give it a try. The hot dog is hot in the middle and it's got a nice toasty snap to the outside. Hot dogs should be cooked until they're steamy hot inside and I don't know if you can see the steam, but there is steam coming from the inside of the hot dog. Cooking for another minute is probably the maximum time, five minutes, that you can cook a hot dog. I think if you cook it longer than that, they'll start to burst. Using setting three twice, I think got a really good result on the buns and the hot dogs. I don't think it's a good idea to use a higher setting because the buns will get too dark. In four minutes, you got hot buns and hot hot dogs done at the same time. I like that you can cook the buns and the hot dogs at the same time without the buns burning. I thought that the buns might burn, but they didn't. Although there's no color on the inside of the buns, they are toasted and lightly crispy. It tastes like it's toasted, it just doesn't look like it's toasted inside. These hot dogs definitely taste better than boiled hot dogs or microwaved hot dogs. Of course, you can't compare them to grilled hot dogs, but I think they taste pretty good. They do taste toasted because of the um, little snap you get from the outside of the hot dog. Unplug the unit and make sure it's cool before cleaning. There will be crumbs on the tray and you should definitely empty these out after each time you use the machine. Just shake or wipe them off. It's really easy to clean. Pull the hot dog baskets out using the handle. And these can be washed in hot soapy water and dried. They're not dishwasher safe. The outside can be wiped with a damp cloth and dried. If you like retro products, I think it's a nice addition to your collection. Kids will probably also get a kick out of it. If you want to get this retro toaster, I'll put a link in the description below. As always, I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.